it's kind of funny to see. I did get that. I have very strong feelings on that. <laughs> and wow, these can get expensive. It's crazy. I just really like the tradition of that. So depending on your traditions, the Christmas season can be pretty expensive. And I don't think that is absolutely necessary. So in today's video, I thought it would be fun to share with you 10 plus things that I'm not buying this Christmas season. And I say 10 plus because it's actually 12, but then sounded nicer. So grab yourself a nice little drink, I have my tea here, and let's get into this video. The first thing on my list is a Christmas tree. And now, it doesn't mean that I don't have a Christmas tree. Uh, I actually bought a little Christmas tree last year. And the plan was to keep it alive and have it grow with us for the years to come. And um, at least for the first year, I managed to do that. So, like you can see here besides me this year, I have my little Christmas tree again, all decorated. It's really fun to see how much it's grown in the last year. And this is something that I plan to do for the years coming. That's not to say that I will never get a Christmas tree. If I do though, it's either going to be like this, where it's in a pot and I can keep it alive, or it's going to be a fake one because I don't like the ones that I've taken down. Then the second thing is a advent calendar. I think at some point as a kid we used to have those little chocolate calendars. And they're great as a kid, um, however, for now, I don't really see use in those. Yeah, that's it honestly. I think if at some point I do get an advent calendar, it's either going to be the ink fence calendar by Diamine, because that would be so much fun. It's a calendar full of fountain pen inks. Um, or it's something that I'm going to make myself and that I'm going to put together myself with maybe little things to do through the December season and to enjoy all of the Christmassy things that are happening and that I can do this time of year. And then the third thing on my list would be stockings and stocking stuffers. So this is something that growing up I've never done uh, and I don't really plan on doing it either because I don't see the use in it. So here in the Netherlands you have Sinterklaas, which is on December 5th um, and a tradition there is to put your shoe out and that get filled with little presents or with um, candy. That's something that I haven't done since I was a kid and I don't necessarily very much like that tradition to be completely honest, but that's something for another video. But for me stockings and stocking stuffers, I don't really see the use of them. They're are typically filled with a ton of junk, to be honest. And I'd rather give just a nice presence um, than having to feel like I need to fill up a stocking. Even though the stockings, they do look cute. <laughs> so no stockings, no stocking stuffers. Then the fourth thing on my list is a new Christmas outfit and also along those lines Christmas socks. So it's been actually a couple of years that I actually bought an outfit specifically for Christmas. So the last couple of years, if you look back at the pictures, I'm pretty much wearing the same thing or a very, very similar thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny to see. And I have not missed it at all. Christmas day, I'll just wear something that I feel good in, that I like to wear. And I don't really feel need to buy something new for it. I don't care if I'm in the same pictures with the same clothes over and over again. It's kind of funny and it kind of makes you <laughs> see how long those clothes last honestly and how much you're enjoying them year after year. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not buying those. Um, in previous years my boyfriend and I have gotten um, some Christmas socks and that's a little tradition I really like but by now we have a nice little collection and I think it's okay if we're not doing that for a year. I needed safety. Then number five on my list um, are themed linens, so Christmassy themed linens. Things like napkins, tablecloth, uh, tea towels, blankets, um, stuff like that. So it doesn't mean that I don't have anything because I do actually have these really cute napkins. They are by Dylan and Camilla, I got them last year and these are really nice and festive. Uh, they're great for Christmas season but they're also good for fall. So these are multi-functional and I really like that about these. So uh, basically these are the main napkins we use each fall and winter season. 
and then towards the spring summer I tend to switch to my linen napkins which are really nice and neutral so I'm not buying anything new in this category um, I really enjoy the ones that we have and they work for multiple seasons which is nice and then Christmas themed sweets and candy so these things can get so incredibly expensive I don't know why but they do <laughs> So there's a ton of Christmassy themed uh, sweets and candy out there. Um, I'm not a huge candy person anyway. I do like my chocolates and I do like baking a thing or two, but just straight out candy, I'm not too big on those. So I do not plan on getting any of those things. Doesn't mean that if someone else gets them for me, I won't eat them because I definitely will, but I'm not going to spook my money into getting Christmas themed candy if I can just very much enjoy the chocolate that I enjoy all year round. Now here in this category I did get a Christmas -y festive coffee syrup so maybe that's cheating a little bit. I don't know, does that count as candy? I did get that. Then expensive gifts. So I grew up in a family where gift giving around Christmas has never been a thing at all. Probably for a big part because my brother's birthday is on Christmas Day. And then also the thing where the 5th of December, sorry that's like 20 days earlier, you have Sinterklaas which does come with a ton of gifts already. So that was for us the gift moments. Um, and I don't love the tradition around that either. I. Let's just say that I would do it differently if I had children right now, um, but again, that's for another video. I have very strong feelings on that. <laughs> but I did always enjoy the idea of having a little present underneath a Christmas tree, um, and that's not something that I'm doing at all this year. So we were planning to get ourselves a very nice set of bed linens for Christmas, but we're going to be moving very early in the next year. Um, like January 2023 so we're going to need that money <laughs> to put into the move and things that we're gonna have to get because of that so the Badlands are going to have to wait another year um, but that means we're not doing any Christmas gifts this year I am going to get for each of us a little bag of our favorite candies and put those underneath Christmas tree so there is a little something to open up on Christmas morning because I just really like the tradition of that. I can't help it. I just, I love that. <laughs> so I am going to do that. Not Christmas themed though. Just, just our favorite candy in general. So yeah, no expensive Christmas gifts. In my family circle or circle of my friends, we've never really done much for Christmas gift giving. So it's not something I grew up doing. It's not something I'm doing much now. And that's perfectly fine with me, to be completely honest. If you do, however, want a few ideas for not so expensive, but still really thoughtful, intentional Christmas gifts, um, I will make sure to link my Christmas gift guide down below. So number eight on my list, something that I've never done before and that I do not plan on doing this year or next year or quite a few years in the future, never say never, but I'm not planning on doing this, is Christmas pajamas. So don't get me wrong, I do like a good pajama, but I don't see the use in making it Christmas themed. Then just get a cute set of pajamas and enjoy those like throughout the winter instead of just the Christmas season. To me that just does not make any sense, even though they can get pretty freaking cute. Then number nine on my list is Christmas cards. And wow, these can get expensive. It's crazy. Honestly, I don't remember ever buying Christmas cards. Maybe I did with my parents when I was very young, but for the past, I don't even know how many years, I've actually been making my own Christmas cards and it's something I really enjoy. So it's a little tradition that I've made for myself, I guess, making Christmas cards. So that's what I'm doing this year. I'm making my own again. Really enjoyable. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've done that for a couple of years. I'm going to keep doing this probably for the years to come because it's a little tradition that I really enjoy and I love getting a little bit crafty and um, getting my paints out and just playing around. Honestly, that's that's basically what it is, just playing. So, not buying any Christmas cards, making them myself. 
there are so many good ideas out there online that are very simple and easy to recreate. Um, so I highly recommend maybe you try that if crafting is something that you enjoy. Then number 10 on the list, wrapping paper. So like I already told you, um, we're not really going to be doing any gifts this year at all. So there's no wrapping paper needed. And if something does come up and I do need some wrapping paper, I'm going to use what I already have. Or I'm going to use a little fabric gift pack, which is something that I've done before and I do way prefer because you can just reuse those and I don't see why I would buy any wrapping paper if it's not necessary. It's, it's one of those things that is so extremely wasteful. Yeah, and there's often quite a bit of plastic in there. You cannot typically recycle wrapping paper unless you're going to get the brown craft one. So. No wrapping paper for me. Then on for the bonuses for this video. Um, number 11 on my list is holiday themed mugs and serving wear. To be honest, it's not something that I ever plan on getting. They can get extremely cute. Again, it's something that I can very much appreciate when others do have it and when I do see it online or anything. But for me, it's not necessary. I don't see why I would get something separate for just the holidays, if I can enjoy my very cute mugs and serving wear all year round. Why get something that I can only use around Christmas time if I can get these instead? Which made me so <laughs> incredibly happy. <laughs> and then the last thing on my list, number 12, is extra Christmas decorations. And this is something that I definitely do plan on getting in the future, but not this year. So last year when I got my, our tiny little life Christmas tree that I was planning to have grow with us, um, we also started the tradition of one little ornament each year. So for the first year we started with a little set of four felt ornaments by Dilla and Camilla. Love those. And then this year I got to pick another one, which I did, and it's an extremely cute little owl. And yeah, I'm not buying any other Christmas decorations at all this year. I mean, we live in a teeny tiny little apartment and it gets very messy very quickly. Um, so honestly, I don't think it's very practical at this point in life. I really enjoy my little Christmas tree, but for now, and that's all we're doing and the only ornament I'm getting this year is the one that I already got. That's it for the 12 things that I'm not buying this year for Christmas and that I might not get next year either. That's it, I guess. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would truly, really help me out and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, bye. It's time for a closet to clutter. Honestly, they're too big for me. Please. I love, I'm not going anywhere, I wear them all the time. Okay, we're making progress, sort of. I don't like the feel of the material, 